All right, me and Brian are gonna go get after some pigs. We've been baiting them. They're showing up on the Moultrie cell cameras. And so we're just gonna walk the loop, try to run into some. Let's go.
that what you think? set up. I didn't, trust, I didn't trust my rangefinder or should have. Because I could have shot him at 45, but I was like, the way it looked is that this was a lot further than this cedar tree up in here. It's just right here. Back out here, Brian, again. We, uh, we got into some pigs last time, as you saw, but, uh, we have to give him another try here because I didn't I didn't pull it off. We've been having them out here every afternoon, but uh, we don't see them on the mulches yet, so we'll see. Tyler's taking the what blue happens? t shirt off. The blue t shirt off. I think I think sure. it's gonna happen. Yeah. Blue t shirt is in the laundry.
It's still not ideal. Like we were still like 41 was the closest I ever ranged with a target pig. But like we we're trying to get, we got greedy it again. Look, it looks like on video they're 20 yards. Away. That's good. Dude, it felt like it when they were out there. They were. There's yeah. some big boars in there, man. That black one is big, big. But that that black and the one with the black spot on him with the white just looks like it's got some fat on it, dude. And I was like, that's a bacon looking pig right there. The solid black one, there's some, there's some good boars in there. Yeah. I'm thinking we ought to just shoot one next time yeah. we come out here instead send, of trying to send shoot. it at 40. It's a good yeah, idea, Just If you get within 40, 45, man, and you can't really get much closer without really risking some stuff, we probably should shoot. So. Should we uh, get a corn pile over there in that stalking country? and then just spread corn real broad out there that what you know what I'm talking about I think we're gonna have to to move our corn pile I think keeping it out in the open at the, the base of that hill kind of ruins our evenings because of thermal climbs the yeah. cooler weather kind of pushes our scent right down to them exactly what just happened I there. think we we move it back up the hill and kind of get it around some of that shrubbery and you know what I'm talking about like kind of on the northwest corner over there it's just made for spot and stalk out through there yeah all that high stuff you're talking about with like a bunch of tickets and stuff yeah around yeah, yeah. those cedars yeah we might I the good thing about this is because it's advantageous for those pigs, they sit there all day. So oh, yeah. you can basically bank on right now, if you can get a good solid wind, we might should even come in here at like four and just listen and see if they're fighting around. Because they were bedded 40 yards yeah. off that corn. We've heard them both times walking in. Yeah. So, so they're, they're bedded close. If we can, and, uh, I mean, we, we'd still have wind at that point. You know what I mean? So we might should do that later on this week whenever we get a chance. Son of a guns can see better than you think they can. Grab a moly. I bet you our legs show pretty bad on this white sand. I bet that's what happened. Could you see him? Yeah, I could see him. But I did not expect him to take off like he just did. That was wild. Well, that was a try. I'd like to shoot that pig. He's very large. The pig was a lot bigger than I thought he was. He's real big, dude. And he comes to this camera pretty often. Those, that, look at that. Those are fat, fat pigs. That one that stopped is round. Behind that one? Look how round that pig is. What are we doing? Uh, trying to figure out how to hunt these pigs. <laughs> about to go drop corn about mm, 300 yards from there. So, pretty decent chance that we see some pigs. Look at all this weed over here. Is there pigs out there too? There's something. Cows.
I just came by. There's pig tracks over the top of his truck tracks. Good sign. The Moultrie camera right now is going off, but we're not seeing any pigs. I think they're underneath it right now. So we're letting the short ones eat around until the big ones come in.
there's any chance I hit my auto locks. There's my arrow. We found a dead pig. Dead brown pig. Right here. DVP? DVP. Not dude bro perfect. Dead brown pig. Dude, if that thing is that big, I wonder how big the one is you shot. We'll never know. <laughs> you don't think? No. We're underprepared a little bit. We get kind of lazy in the off season maybe and we don't bring all the flashlights and everything we should. KC shot a giant pig. And uh, there's a good chance we don't find it because they eat broadheads for lunch. And I mean, it's just a big pig. They don't blood trail very good. That's another thing, is they don't blood trail very good. And this like stuff a is so thick and yeah. it's dark. So that's a, that thing's got a big head on it. Yeah, that pig's a good 50 pounds bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah, goodness. That means that black one you shot is probably like 350 pounds. Dude. <laughs> Giant. Huge. Right. We shot a piggy. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. So this is a, it's a sow. It's a pretty size sow actually. Yeah. Way bigger than we thought it was when we thought shot it. Yeah. It's pretty epic. He like, I shot my pig and it ran off and then there's always one. Actually, I squealed to make him stop. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's like, it my, worked, it's my impulse. I just do it. <laughs> and that one turned around and looked and it, oh, bad news. It was <laughs> bad. <laughs> <Yonsky>. <laughs> you got so I, I just put the 40 on it and was like, oh, that's definitely right in there. And it, it nailed her and yeah. uh, I'm using a huge broadhead so that was cool too but KC still has a giant pig like on the ground somewhere so the chances are we find it are probably slim but we're gonna we're gonna work at it right now okay we got blood we got blood we got blood everybody we uh kind of had a celebration because we found Tyler's pig and it led us up in this bunch of cedars and thought there was no blood off my pig well we did a bunch of stuff went back and got lights and stuff and then we reviewed the footage to be a real cliche you know tv production deal here and sure enough i hit my pig pretty decent and it didn't go off to the right it went the same path as tyler's pig so we was like well there's a chance that maybe we have overlapping blood trails and sure enough like this bout here has to be my piggy i'll just point up through here i hope you got your nine millimeter you know, guys it's blood right there. thick good blood there this is why the pigs live in here and seem so sly that's the hole they go through. Is it? Yeah. How do you get there? Blood there. Blood there. Blood there. Oh my gosh. Any penetration? I'm pretty sure there's no penetration, but I'm pretty sure it's all on video. Were you recording? I'm just gonna take a nap right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold on. Ah. <laughs> Oh, I did almost get penetration though. Sleepy Sleeperson. Dude, my left butt cheek. Oh no. Got Here, little, you can grab my knee if you want to. Cedar. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Cedars are scary. They are, dude. Especially in the dark. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> Boy. I still got good blood here, guys. I'm bleeding pretty good. So we're on the trail of this pig and the blood is kind of starting to run out, I guess. It was bleeding a lot. We're 370 yards in. We bust through some thick stuff and this thing's kind of wandering through this open oak flat. And uh, it's kind of hairy, you know, this is a big pig. This pig possibly weighs almost twice as much as me, who knows? I mean, it's a big fat black pig, gigantic compared to those, even compared to those other boars. So. The shot looked pretty good, but the thing is, these things have so much fat and gristle and protection that we just, just don't know for sure. And on a black pig, it's hard to figure out exactly where you hit, exactly where to aim, but it is kind of spooky to walk in here as our flashlights are dying and uh, potentially jump a big old pig that weighs twice as much as you. So we're gonna keep on looking for a little bit longer, but the blood's getting real, real tough. There blood. Reddish colored berries that really mess you up. Yeah, I know. Ain't looking good. Uh -uh. Little drops. A little bit. I'm tired. That's gonna conclude the search for tonight. There's a chance that pig's dead. Um, Brian's gonna come over and feed tomorrow, I think, and uh, if he sees something, he might do a little looking around. And uh, maybe there's a chance it's super cold tonight, so that pig will still be pretty good, but 
they're just tough. Sometimes it happens that way, but I'm glad we got Tyler's and uh, that makes for some fun.